welcome uh, in this uh, project just let me show you first the output of our website so as we know that this is a research paper recommendation system so if you search here a research paper title like this time i'm going to research a review of deep learning concepts cnn architecture challenges application future direction so this is a research paper title related to deep learning algorithm that is used for visual uh, or images data cnn convolutional neural network now let's see how many research papers are related to this search so if i click on recommendation button uh, we are getting the recommendation okay so here this is the first recommendation a review of deep learning with special emphasis on architecture application this is similar review of deep learning again similar deep convolutional neural networks similar a survey of recent architectures of deep convolutional neural similar so yeah these are similar let me search once again uh, this is another research paper we have seen previously this is but pre-training by direction again let me search let's see what what's it recommend for this uh, research paper title so this is a large language model uh, but so we will see that how many research papers are recommended so this is again uh, similar again from transformer but and this is vl bird version again this is similar and recommended paper this is again similar uh, this is also similar uh, this one similar but a little uh, deviated but still it's similar okay so yeah in this way this research paper recommendation system uh, works let me quickly explain the folder architecture and backend code okay so in folder uh, actually in my case i have a lot of files here but in your case you will get main.py just main.py in which we have implemented the backend code with apis using flask framework okay and also the backend code uh, then you'll get templates in templates you'll have only index.html okay in which we have implemented the front end from where we are getting the title of any research paper and we are displaying uh, all those things okay so this is templates in notebooks we have two uh, uh, I uh, notebook files in which we have entered topic modeling with LDA and research paper recommendation okay and in models folder you will get only three files embeddings uh, a rec model and sentences so these are the save uh, files now let's go to main.py okay so in main.py let me explain quickly so here we are importing first couple of libraries like we need to import here flask framework uh, from flask we have imported uh, request and render template uh, we have also imported tensorflow because our trend model are trend using tensorflow keras and we have numpy we have torch we have sentence transformers uh, for large language models then we have created app for flask object now these three things i have important like embeddings uh, sentences and rec model from the models folder okay basically these three files are converted into pkl file these are the embeddings are the vectors for all the research papers during the recommendation phase in notebook okay sentences is the same things and this is the trend model rec model okay because we have to use this in backend that's why i am importing that from the model folder uh this recommendation function we will discuss later but first let's go to the root this is the first root app dot root this is empty for the first time when you open this app it will be redirected to the index and there we'll get the interface with the title bar okay now in title we have uh, there uh, a form with action recommend so from there once user typed research paper title then we are getting the title right here uh, from the paper title and storing in input paper now this is the input title that has been entered by user into the html form now we have to pass this input paper to the recommendation function so the recommendation function will get this user input right here after that we are calculating cosine similarity between all the embeddings we have a lot of embeddings and user inputs so here i am using cosine similarity for 
all the research other research paper embedding that we have already run and then we are also passing input paper to the recommended model to decode, uh, encode it so once it encoded then we are calculating similarity between embeddings that are all the research papers vectors and this user input vector so it will return cosine scores and these are a lot of scores but here what we are interested we are interested in top most research papers for that i am using torch dot top k i am passing all these cosine scores dimension 0 with k number meaning 5 uh, top 5 papers with sorted will be true okay meaning if there is a research paper score in this case similarity that is 99 so it will be first if there is another research paper with cosine score 95 it will be second then let's say 93 it will be third that's why i passed here so it will be true after that i'm just getting from now all the top five papers will be stored in this so i'm getting their indices and i have an empty list paper 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 list in which i am appending from now from sentences basically this has just the scores the cosine similarity score but to user we have to show the paper titles and the paper titles are within sentences so with the help of this loop i'm getting that names and storing them into paper list so basically once this function get user input it will return top five paper and this type five five paper we are getting right here right here and we are passing this top five paper to the uh, index.html so let me show you uh, if i open templates index so here in index we had a uh, we had actually a form this was the form in which we have we are getting from user the research paper okay and from there we are from backend we are getting top recommended papers that are stored in recommendation papers and this is actually this one okay this variable now i am i have to get one by one the top five papers so again here i am using if you want to implement python code within html then you have to use jinja template okay so if recommended papers just just let me uh, first let me give a condition because once i click on recommended button before that i want to display uh, I don't want to display anything else that's why I'm putting here a condition so if recommended papers then run a loop so the loop what will do this loop this will, will this loop will simply get recommended papers so for paper in recommended papers then display that paper okay as simple as that so in a man just let me uh, give a quick revision first of all we have two roots in flask these are these roots are nothing but your apis in flask so first um, I, once i run this app it will redirect me to the index without any functionality but once there i uh, just let me show you right click in the main.py right click uh, and run main but before that in terminal i hope you have installed all the necessary libraries like tensorflow Floss, Keras, uh, NumPy, I had mentioned right here, just let me show you uh, this library, just copy paste and open here terminal in your PyCharm and just paste and after that enter and it will be installed and do the same for all others, okay. So once you right click and run the main.py, you will get a URL, this is the URL, you have to click on this URL and your app will be open in your browser, but before opening i have told you that you have in template index.html for backend you have main.py okay so it will take a little time i don't know why. so this is the title bar okay once you put here any research paper let me search here a research paper uh, let's say uh, logistic regression research paper you can type another research paper so i think this research paper is related to logistic regression let me open it uh, and just 
accept all cookies just let me copy the title okay now i have to go to my website and just let me zoom in and i want this time this research paper so let's see let's click on the recommend button so it's recommending a uh, decision tree based predictive model for academic achievements using uh, achievements using college student support network predictive university student academic success and measure using random first yeah it's working hybrid models uh, modeling latin variant this one is uh, not much similar but this fours are similar okay you can try another version as well now there once you put title this put title we are getting right here in the form i have shown you that this is the form where we have this input and with the help of this name with the help of this name paper title we are getting that research paper title from the user and in back end we are getting we are uh, getting with the help of request dot form this paper title once we get this paper title we are passing this uh, to the recommendation functions function and there we do all the calculation like cosine similarity getting top five paper and they are getting their names and returning the paper list and we are getting this research papers list right here and we are passing this research papers uh, list to the index.html now in index.html i have used jinja template with this syntax first of all i have put if recommended if recommend recommended paper then only go and run a loop for paper in recommended paper then display one by one that paper like here we are printing one by one that paper so yeah i hope you get the idea and all the explanation thank you so much